All right guys, we are on day two of getting this kit ready to go. Now I'm gonna give you guys cloud where we are because we did a little bit of work this morning. We're now creeping into the afternoon. We're actually waiting for the arrival of the wing, which as I'm sure all you guys know, that's like the best looking part of the whole entire kit, like no doubt. Now, it's a little bit nervous when we get this wing because when it was being designed, it was very tricky. I had to take measurements from a car, Dylan took his own measurements, and then John Small, who did all the renderings and all the design work, took his own measurements. It should be good we have two plates that come up right here and right here obviously why it's taped off but this is just a super tricky like formation to try and get something to be perfect and be printed and again i don't even know the science behind it the long story short is there is a small chance the smallest of chances that it might not fit that well. But from our calculations, from everything that Dylan's double checked, from the engineers double checked, from John is double checked, we should be where we need to be. And we obviously can do some body work and make whatever fit, but uh, we Ubered that down from LA. This poor Uber driver has been doing like over an hour and a half solo with random pieces behind him that he probably has no idea what it is. So we're literally waiting for that to show up. It's gonna be here any minute, but to get you all caught up, you guys saw the left side was already completed. Now we've gone ahead and did the right hand side, got that all ready to go. We're getting ready to do this front section, which we were going to, but we're a bit antsy right now. We're like, dude, we all want to wait for this Uber to drop off the wing process. We all want to see it. It's going to be raw 3D printed, just kind of like the stuff came out of the machine. All these pieces, we immediately sent them to Oscar SOS and we had them prime it and get it ready. But we're actually going to opt out of that this time. We think we can do just the amount of body work that we need before sending it to Oscar. So they're going to come like this. We're able to sand this and stuff if we need to. We've gotten pretty familiar with all the material from what we've had so we're gonna try to get it ready like this and then give it to Oscar to prime and paint the moment the uber shows up here is the moment all of our holes get super clenched because it's gonna be a very nervous time so hopefully everything checks out okay it says it's here right people always blow by it I'm standing point guard right now I'm ready to intercept the uber so they don't go by us waste no time out here we on a time schedule Dylan what kind of car is it Pacifico a Chrysler <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> it looks pretty good, dude. Okay, okay. And I don't know how well we, we might have to trim some of this stuff out before even seeing it. So that is the left side? Should be the left side. Yeah, okay. Let's just see how well. I don't even know what we're looking for here. I'm nervous because we're going to have to bore out a lot of it. I'm just going to tell you, I think it's not looking at too bad there's a little bit of part where we're gonna have to cut out because we're oh there's a lot okay i think it needs to be more like yeah, yeah. oh 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 there it is yeah we had it too far out so once you angled it more i don't even think it goes it might even we need to find that sweet spot the sweet there is yeah there's a dog dog that looks good diego's like oh i'm grabbing the tape he's gonna start taping it up Damn, that's good, dude. So to you guys, it might look a little bit wonky, but all this inside space, yeah, what do you call it, negative space? We're gonna be taking all that out. So we're gonna like be trimming all this, just like all the other pieces. We had to trim a lot of it to get it to fit. And it's the same premise. This wing looks super good too. It has the bow in it just as we requested. Oh man, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's so good, it's so good. Let's get that other set. I know. <laughs> ah! It's gonna be so good, dude. It's gonna be so good. All right, Dylan, do the honors. So there might be a little gap. Yeah, we, we predict there'll be a little bit of gap. And that's what we'll be fixing ourselves. Eey, I'm so nervous. It looks like it will fit. Diego's trying to be patient, and we're like, dude, we're, we're over being patient right now. Oh, uh, no, we need to see it, we need to see it. Diego's <laughs> making us go nice and patient, nice and slow, the smart way. That's usually Calvin's role and everything. I always like to be super aggressive and quick, and he's like, let's not screw anything up. Okay, moment of truth. It's a little bit of a gap, baby, no! Oh, it needs to be angled. Yeah, it needs to be. So the rear is higher than the front. Well, yeah. Oh! Basically how we'll be. Oh, man. Yeah, well, I mean, we need to fix that gapping, but dog. Oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna put this camera down, I'm gonna help, and then when we get situated, I'll pick the camera back up. Today's video sponsor is Ring. I have talked about Ring so many times in the past on this channel about them, but if you haven't heard me talk about them, Ring is a home security system that has doorbells, cameras, motion sensors, and more that help create a ring of security around your home or even office space. Now, I actually have a Ring system installed in my house. I use it every single day, all the time. It allows me to feel safe when I'm not at home and never worry that something is going on and if I ever want to I can go on my phone and look at any of the cameras that my ring is linked to and I can see what is happening in live time one of the best features about ring is that I have a motion sensor on my house as well so the moment anybody decides to walk up to my front door or does anything suspicious I automatically get an alert to my phone and it automatically records and backs up any incidents to the cloud so I can go back at a previous date and watch anything I want they have so many different options and accessories that you can build out anywhere you want and to however you want, all on their website. So I highly suggest you guys go check it out and see it for yourself. As a subscriber and viewer of this channel, you get a special offer on the Ring Welcome Kit right now at ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt. This kit is included with a video doorbell and a Chime Pro, which is exactly what you need to start a ring of security around your home today. Go to ring.com forward slash TJ Hunt to learn more about this offer right now. Thank you so much for Ring for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back to it. Alright boys, we're taking a quick break while everyone else is still hammering away. We need to do some product shots and because I look like crap and I'm completely dirty, we're going to be getting some product shots with Kevin decked out right now. So for those who copped our December stuff from last year, we released a pair of joggers. We got a lot of positive feedback on that. So this year, we got the joggers in black again and we have them in khaki. And the logo that was on the left hand leg kind of was always scrunched up towards the ankle. So we ended up doing an embroidered logo on the back of the calf. and then we we also have a clip tag on the right butt cheek. Okay, give us a look. Right there, and then we also, this is a mini drop before December, so we did these long sleeves. As it's getting a little bit more chilly, it's a little bit lighter of a long sleeve, so it's not too heavy. And then as you can see right here, the logo is supposed to be inspired from the Supra because we have so much Supra stuff going on right now. We wanted to do something to kind of like aim towards Supra stuff. This logo, you can't really see it, but right here, 3M Reflective. I don't think it'll work on camera. Do you think it will? Um, if I go like this. So during the day, this looks great, but if you take a photo of it or you do anything like. Can you see that? Um, oh, whoa. So look, through right here, don't move, Kev. So right here, you see how it's just normal gray? And then when you have a flashlight and you're recording, it highlights it and it's all reflective. So super cool, we did sweatpants like this last year. You guys are pretty hyped on them, so we redid those. So we're gonna have the bucket hats, we're gonna have the t-shirt, and you're gonna have uh, the joggers in black and in khaki. So that's gonna be releasing in the next couple weeks, all tapered toward the Supra. I'm getting some shots of Kev right now for the Instagram before it goes live. And that's just, Another great photo shoot in the books. We got a lot of Kevin dancing around the car. <laughs> Not gonna spend too much time because we don't really have that much time to do this, but I always appreciate Kevin helping out as uh, we have a million things going on today. Look who made his way down south. The man of many faces. Oscar's here checking out the car because this man, as much work as we're putting into this, he has literally just as much and we want to make his job a lot easier because he has a lot more uh, suspense laying on his end because when this goes to the paint it needs to come out looking super spicy i kind of walked him around the car showed him the condition showed him what he needs to work with and we were asking some parts we need to fill some parts we need to take away what is your feelings right now considering we are eh, we're about 10 days out i'm hoping uh that you can get this to me as soon as possible. That's what I'm really, that's my feeling right now because what it looks like is that I'm not gonna get this car until the weekend and then you're pretty much saying, hey Oscar, your weekend that you were planning? You know, the Halloween parties and all that? The Halloween's next weekend. Yeah, but you, you don't party on I I do. I go trick or treating. Oh man. my God. Oh. You don't go trick or treating still? Nah. I got kids. <laughs> All right, okay, like I said, trying to do as much as we can here. It's a lot of work. It's definitely a lot of work. What can we do? I need you to tell us what we need to do. You need to wish for a miracle? Stop, stop, <laughs> oh my God. He's literally saying that for the camera. This is the first time he said it. He's literally <laughs> saying this because he wants to get a reaction. I know it's a lot of work. I know it's like a miracle. I'm confident we can do it. 100% confident we can do it. I mean, technically speaking, we're gonna get the wheels scanned tomorrow. And then once we give this to you, 
We don't technically need this back till it goes to SEMA. Well, Dog, just the way you like. <laughs> I'm trying to word this in a way that doesn't scare you, but we would, oh, I would God much rather it. have it as soon as I think you can have it on Friday. Like what time? Are you gonna bring it to me at the end of the day? So or, or this is gonna make you just even more upset. Uh, I am flying out Friday morning, morning and I'm gonna be gone Friday and Saturday and coming back Sunday but Calvin's not going so what I'm planning to do is we're gonna schedule that tow truck to come here and pick it up whenever it's ready on Friday we're gonna be working all day again Thursday so we've actually been scheming for like 20 minutes now and I think we have a pretty good idea what we're gonna do today is Wednesday for everyone that doesn't so right now it's Wednesday we originally were gonna plan to have this car to Oscar by like Friday evening, Friday night, like the end of Friday really. And I think we're gonna change it. We're gonna get it to him tomorrow night being Thursday night, so he has a full Friday. Pretty much what we're thinking is, we're doing a lot of work here and that's great. Oscar and SOS, they do body work, like that's, that's their jam. They're better than that than anyone else. So for them to have more time with this car and like make sure everything is seamed out rather than us kind of doing a half-ass job and then them fixing our mistakes, it's better for them to do it right the first time. So we're gonna give this to them uh, Thursday night. So we're gonna have all day Friday and I think we're gonna, might do a Saturday and some Sunday work and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Hopefully we can get it back. I think that I'm gonna throw it out there. You're gonna tell me what you, realis you realistically think. I think we could have this car ready and painted, super soft paint, but painted by Wednesday. Day. Oh, is that about what you're thinking? Be honest. Painted, Be yeah. Painted, yeah. I, I think I think that's very doable. Okay. Very doable. But it just depends when we get the car. You're gonna have it tomorrow night, Thursday night. I heard that. Before. That you you're <laughs> gonna have it tomorrow night. I promise. So that means there'd be Friday, Saturday. I don't know if Sunday because that's that's his Halloween party. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's six days. That's ridiculous. Saying it out loud, I'm kinda like, oh shit, that's a little bit gnarlier than I thought. But, is there anyone that could do it? It's SOS, baby. <laughs> I made a post on my IG, you know. You know, I didn't know you guys were running into issues, you know, cause I only saw the pieces. I didn't know how they fit. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, these guys are fucking, oops, sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry for my language. You're good, you're good. You know, these guys are into the future. They're 3D printing. Okay, I've never heard that. This thing, I'm thinking this thing's gonna be 100% just pretty much installs itself. And I'm looking at it, and uh, I mean, the, the quality of the kit is amazing, but obviously, because it is a prototype kit, it's gonna need a little bit of work. Yeah, and that's something we explained to the camera. We're like, this is all from the computer, and when printing it in real life, then putting it to a car, for seeing it in the computer, it's gonna be like 90-ish percent, and then we need to like do the 10% of everything else to get it to fit. So there is a lot like of body 25%, work. Maybe 20, it's, <laughs> it's a good start, but there definitely is a lot of love that needs to get yeah. done. So uh, we're gonna keep on jamming throughout the night. Our goal is gonna try to uh, assess this wing a little bit um, and then tomorrow we'll jump on the skirts and then at that point it's pretty much SOS to kind of just make sure all of our seams and stuff are good and do all the like up close stuff because for SEMA everything needs to be like dialed in so that when everyone comes up and sees it and sees it for the first time because first impressions are everything especially as like a debuting kit um, that's super important that final detail touch has to be important and I still think I, I was just saying off camera I'm like there's no way we're gonna get the carbon done in time but I think we might be able to swing the carbon in time, so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. I'm gonna I'm keep that it. clip and I'm gonna play it back a week from now and we'll see if it's still accurate, but I'm feeling confident. I think I think we're okay. I think we should be fine. Yeah. I, think, uh, I think we got a good team here and I'm really excited to be working with you guys over here. You look so sad when you're saying that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got a special delivery. Just got dropped off. I haven't told you guys yet, but we ended up with some new brakes for the A90. So this is my this is my first time ever getting Brembos. These things are 100% baller, and we ended up going with the super baller models. There's two models. There's the GT calipers and the GTS. These are the GTS calipers. These are a little bit more um, track focused. We we had to hit them with the track focused ones. Um, these are like so so cool. Huge shout out to Brembo. It's an honor to literally be working with them and getting these on the car for SEMA. This is like a dream brand to work with. 100%. Huge shout out to Race Technologies, Brembo. Thank you so much. We're gonna be installing these probably in the morning. Look at these. 
These are massive. These are literally the size of the Ferrari brakes. These are literally the size of the Ferrari brakes. We got six pistons, and we, I already thought that the stock ones were large already, but holding the new brake disc up to the wheel literally takes up the face of the whole entire wheel. Pretty gnarly. We are actually gonna pick this video up tomorrow. It's gonna be a super long video. Um, it's about 9.30 right now. We're on a stopping point. We gotta do some modifications to the wing. The trunk mounting for the wing is a complete nightmare. It doesn't mount how you, you can't take apart the trunk at all. Like you can't get to the metal on the bottom. So you kind of have to like drill through the plastic or cut out the plastic and get to the hardware. You'll see it in a little bit. We're gonna get to it in a minute, probably tomorrow morning. But I'm gonna end this video here and I'm gonna pick it up with you guys in the morning. So I'll see you. Uh, we're gonna be here at 7 a.m. I'll see you in about seven hours. Are you like he deeply might, hurt? He might, he might need a stitch. I don't think so. Well, look at that. Ooh. Oh, it's Ooh. it's pretty. It's dude, that's why you wear safety glasses. Bro, yeah, dude, dude would have lost his eye. Cut almost all the way through. Oh the my god. Okay, update everyone. I was in here editing, getting the video ready, and Calvin was cutting the rear fenders, getting ready to weld. Were you using the cutting disc or the flappy disc? The cutting disc. Those tools are scary, boys. And it's just a dude. Look at the classes. Yeah. Full face mask moving forward. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah don't. I can't even. Don't get it. fuck with those tools. Dude, there's a gash in the. There it is. I gotta clean up my my mask or else. Are you straight? Do you want? No, I'm good. Yeah, it's pretty superficial. Like meaning, like it's not like deep. Oh, I'm gonna have a scar. It's not gonna scar. Yeah, it is. It <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. I haven't had one explode in my face yet. Not like that. I've had it explode, but you got it like gnarly. Yeah, I've seen I've seen like posts on the internet where it's like lodged in the safety glasses. Always wear your protection, boys. That's scary, dude. Yeah, that was f***ing crazy. My bad. <laughs> God damn. Did it like? Did he like start bleeding immediately? Yeah, oh, I, I was like, I was literally like right. Disc, dude, yeah, cut, like come here, come here. And I'll show you. Oh, you're streaming? Oh, you get her on stream? Oh, someone yeah, better. I came, I came here to make sure the stream's okay. But. <laughs> oh, is this stream like freaking out? I don't know. That was super gnarly. Look at all the clips. <laughs> we gotta watch those. Yeah. Where's the disc, dude? All right, it's, it's over there. It's literally like in. It's all over. The place. It's. It destroyed, destroyed it. in a oh, million different pieces. Dude. Like, oh, yeah, no. straight shrapnel. You see the glasses? That's why I gotta wear the protection boys. Damn, Cal. I felt, I felt. I heard an explosion. I, like, we were drilling the hole, and the next thing I knew, it, like, like exploded. And I was like, what was that? I saw, thought something so, like, popped. Oh, <laughs> <really cool. laughs> <laughs> Gonna get a new one. Oh, it exploded oh, in your mask, too. All right, so we're now at day two, or day, day three. This is day three now. For the most part, we have the kit, rear fenders, front fenders dialed, still waiting on the side skirts, but right now we're focusing on the rear wing. We finally found the way that we were supposed to get this to the car, and it actually is a pretty unconventional way, and for the most part is generally kind of stupid, and I hate to say that because I love this car. When they advertised this car, they advertised that it was reinforced in the back trunk for a spoiler. Now, I think when they said that, the world kind of assumed there was like an extra sheet of metal or something underneath this trunk. Well, last night, we actually tried taking all this stuff apart because we wanted to access the underside of the trunk to start drilling through it. And we realized that the only pieces you can't take off is this piece right here. And you can see two pieces of the trunk right under here that are like bare metal that I guess if you were gonna do like a, I don't know, middle mount wing, like you could, like an ARP, but way skinnier, you're able to access it. But it wasn't really reinforced at all. And after making some calls with other guys who have already put wings on their cars, you can't access anything at all through here. You actually have to drill through the plastic because this piece is like glued onto this hatch. There isn't uh, a way to remove it, which I know sounds like that's wrong, but it's not. So you pretty much have to dremel a hole and then you can access the underside of the trunk. Now, I don't know where the, I don't know where it's reinforced. It did, we didn't see any extra layering. Maybe it's a thicker composite. Who knows? But we actually had to drill holes through here, which will probably end up including like little grommets to cover them for the kit. Uh, and then right now we pretty much drilled pilot holes all the way straight through and put in self taps to kind of hold the wings where they need to be. So right now it's kind of where we're at. We replicated that on both sides. So the horns are where they need to be. Now we had to extend some of our wing just a little bit with some 4240. Pretty gnarly stuff. We used this to glue on the motion sensors on the back of the four. So now this should fit. So we need to figure out a way to drill these through and have it look somewhat ready for body. So you want to just check to see if it fits, yeah, Dylan? It's a little bit over. We made sure we went over. 
so we could shave away from it. Yeah, and get everything perfect. So yeah, it's hanging over right now. Is gonna, it? So that's like flush. Yeah, we need to take it down a tiny bit, like just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we knew this was gonna happen. So and that's good. Yeah. Rather having better to have too much than too little. Um, yeah. So we're gonna shave a little bit off Should and then come like, back. Right like this. <laughs> So this is what we're working with at the moment. Everything right now is connected with this self taps. And once it goes to Oscar and SOS and they kind of like make everything solid and actually put in some primer and get this thing a little bit more rigid, has a little more bite, we'll be able to do different hardware and kind of do some riv nuts and actually make everything ready. The wing is really good. This is my favorite thing about the car and seeing it now in person, it looks phenomenal. We gave it just a little bit of a kick when we were adjusting it. We we had the option to lay it flat and give it some adjustment. We left, we left it a little bit high because we wanted that little look for SEMA. And also when we get to final production, there'll be multiple holes here so you'll be able Able to adjust the exact kick that you want. Unfortunately, our side skirts are not showing up today, which is a, a big disappointment. Printed the side skirt in three pieces to kind of expedite the printing, uh, but it is taking quite a bit of a long time because once they were all got printed, they had to like hot glue them together in a 3D printing form. I don't know the exact way that it would have gone. I don't know the exact terminology for it, uh, but long story short is it's not going to get here until about 5 p.m. And about 5 p.m. is when this car is going to be on the trailer going up to SO. And then because Calvin had his explosion in his face, we didn't get to weld this side either, which really kind of sucks. So we didn't get to weld this side, and we didn't get to weld this side either. SOS said they would take care of it. We wanted to get as much done before it went to them, but unfortunately, there was just some casualties today that were unexpected. We're sitting really good. Oscar has a lot on his plate, but I know they can handle it. I leave tomorrow for Tuner Evo, so I'm gonna be gone Friday and Saturday. I'm coming home Sunday. At that point, this car would have already been in their hands for about two to three days, so hopefully they get some progress on that. And then what Calvin's doing over here, we also have to make sure that the 458 is ready to go, and we can't show too much much of that but that car needs to get ready so we need to finish assembling this and it's pretty much ready everything just needs to be reassembled which is actually what Calvin's doing right now he's literally just doing reassembly we have to put all that car back together and then get this and then finish that before we get this back so we can get all of our time so definitely the stress stress levels are getting a little bit high I kind of feel like there's way too much on our plate but you know that's kind of how SEMA always ends up playing out trailer just got here cars loaded Calvin and I did a super last minute bleed job on these brakes because we literally had no brakes because we did the brake job this morning. So the side skirts are finished. Literally they finished an hour ago. Unfortunately we didn't get them in time, but it's pretty straightforward. It's just one big piece that goes from here and literally bolts into here. So SOS will have no problem with that. I can guarantee it. And you should be able to get this thing dialed up. They're gonna have to adjust the wing a little bit, make sure it's ready, because we're gonna try to get that wing ridge wrapped in carbon, and then we're gonna try to get that whole entire front lip wrapped in carbon. It's gonna be a uh, very, very tight timeline, but I believe we can do it. Oh, take a look at those Brembos. Those things are huge. The madness for this A90 is now over. The shop is completely empty. No one is here, it's just me. I'm, uh, everyone came, and then once the car was complete and it was off, everyone left. I think at one point we had, I think, like seven or eight people on this car, and we did about a five days worth of work in a matter of less than three days. The side skirts and the lip are at SOS right now with the car. They all kind of got there at the same time, so that's good. That's all getting dialed up, and it's crazy. Just literally, in the last 48 hours, there's been so much back and forth going on through here. I did my best to film all of it, but it's kind of like ridiculous that now it's completely empty, sweeping, and now it's on to the next thing, on to the next focus, which is getting that 458 done. And then when Oscar comes back with the car, put all that back together. So yeah, kind of just like relaxing right now because this is like the first time I've got to like breathe in like three days. I've done like no sleep in 12 hour days back to back to back. So it feels pretty good that the car is gone. I know there's still work to be done, but the fact that it's not in my hands, it's in Oscar's hands, and they're gonna have like seven dudes working on body work. Like I'm kind of feel some stress lifted off my shoulders, but it's definitely still stress, but there's definitely some that's off my shoulders, which is good. Really excited and just putting a lot of my effort into this because this kit means so much to me. Not only for me, but like, I don't know, kind of like the story of like what we've been able to develop and like what that means for everyone out there in the world. And I hate getting so damn sentimental, but it just means a lot, boys. From being made fun of like crazy when I first started and going in the car scene to now having one of my own kits and having my kit 
look the goddamn best. I'm so proud of that. And I cannot wait to debut it to the world. And to me, it just, it means so much more than just like what I've been able to accomplish. It kind of just means like, for me, it's like what our team has developed and what we've accomplished as friends and what all of us have been able to accomplish here, all through the support of you guys. Unstoppable. Hype. So uh, we got to clean up. We got to go home. We got to pack. We got to leave at 6 a.m. for our flight. Uh, we can't drive that car. We can't drive that car. We could drive that car, but we need the space on the rack. My BRZ is gone. My MR5 is gone. We have the Mustang, which isn't mine anymore. That's Nick's car until he comes and gets it, which he should after SEMA, so Nick, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Uh, that leaves us with that car. Mark IV it is, baby. I've been having a slight overheating issue. If I drive the car for like more than four or five days, uh, the overflow kind of just spews on the floor and I don't have an overflow can because it didn't fit anymore with the aftermarket bumpers. We don't have like a catch can or like an overflow can for our car. And it just like, the coolant bleeds out and the car starts to overheat. So I recently filled it up. It should be good to go if what I said makes sense. I filled it up like not that long ago and I haven't been driving it. So we should be fine on coolant. If not, we're gonna overheat on the side of the road and we're probably gonna die. So that's not good. This, I'm a sweeping boy right now. To be honest, I kind of like times like this where it's just me. Look at this, I'm getting this mad focus right now. Just getting my OCD on. I don't know what to do with these uh, brakes now. So if anyone wants stock A90 brakes, they're actually the same brakes that go on a Z4. Like even the paperwork on the Brembos said paperwork for Z4 brakes for BMW. So if anyone wants, not the Brembos, there's in the Brembo boxes, but if anybody wants stock super brakes, hey, I got some for sale. Hope you guys are enjoying this sweeping time with me. Oddly satisfying sweeping. Yay. Ah, music to my ears. traffic was cleared by now and it's not this clutch is amazing but in a lot of stop and go traffic it's hard on the foot it's almost 6 45 and I thought for sure we'd be clear and wide open by now and we ain't I screwed up uh, better watch that temp gauge baby we're Fucking getting high on the temps right now. This is what I was worried about. I'm an idiot. Normally it gets to like 200, our water temp, which is fine. Normally it backs down and it doesn't go above like 202. So we'll see if these fans start kicking in here. And you can see we're getting a little bit high on the actual like temp itself. They are linked and it's, it's dialed together, which is pretty neat. But sometimes that stuff gets pegged way up top and then I get a little bit nervous. And it is a hot day. It was like 95 today. So oh, right now it's back down to 196. So yeah, we're like creeping towards 200 and then it bumps back down. But that will only do its job as long as there's enough coolant in our system. And once that overflow starts puking too much, we're going to lose it and we're going to start overheating. All right, we're back down to 194. We should be good. I showered. I just picked up some Luna Grill. I've been like on this food lately. I just get the chicken, the rice, the pita bread, the hummus. Huge move, really, really good. I'm so tired, I'm home alone. I wish I was playing video games right now, but we have a flight that leaves in, wow, 10 hours. And I need to edit. I also need to write up some stuff for one of our partners that we're gonna be working with a lot. Next year, I have to write like a whole entire essay and stuff. So I have a lot of work to do tonight, which means I'm gonna end it here so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully uh we get the paint done in time and we get you know moving along on that and we get the carbon stuff wrapped i know sos can do it those guys rock they can uh definitely handle everything we're throwing at them so a huge shout out to them thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next one peace out and keep moving forward